Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of the Troll series, a series where we are continually showing it can be a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The level that has the utmost privilege of making me look like a giant idiot is called So Many New Ways to Troll Carl, made by Matuti26. You're gonna notice that right above me it says we've played this level, but no worries, I have not played this level before. I fired it up and died, realized I wasn't recording, and had to start over. And obviously this level was designed to make Carl Sagan look like an idiot, but I want in on that hot idiot action and I want to start dying over and over again. So without further ado, let's fire up so many new ways to troll Carl and see how many new ways we can find to die. So here we go with so many new ways to troll Carl. As you can tell, it's Super Mario Brothers 1 style. Very excited to play it. So the first thing you're gonna notice right above us is the key and you're like, well, do we need the key? This is how I died when I wasn't recording. I jumped up to get the key, <laughs> only, only to take a red ball on the head. You know what they say, red balls in the morning, sailors take warning. So now this part, everything else is gonna be brand new. We come to this section here, got a muncher. Now logic would tell us not to hit this on off switch but I defy logic. I'm going to hit it and see if this is the right thing to do. <laughs> not quite, but it was also not wrong. So what happens if we hit this question mark block? Okay, so it kills the thwomp. So maybe we don't want to hit that. So then what's up here? <laughs> Lol. Lol, okay, all right, so we were right the first time. I think what we wanna do then is, first we want to hit the question mark block, get rid of the muncher, then go over here, hit that, yes. And then as you can tell, hidden behind the uh, red on off blocks is there, there's this, there's this platform here. Very nice usage of the platform. I'm really liking this so far. So now we can hit that. And we have to drop down here. Oh, I know a snake block. Now I guarantee you this snake block is not going to follow the tracks. <laughs> oh, no. no, the old snake block on the track routine. Normally I fall for it and the snake block will like take a weird turn and you'll die. But apparently we needed to stay on the snake block and grab the fire flower that you see floating down there. All right, here we go. So fall onto the snake block, stay on it the whole time. We wanna stay on it the whole time. Chill out here. <laughs> Not die, okay, all right, all right. Okay, let's go, let's get it, let's get it. There we go, we're gonna take damage, but now we can at least break this block. This is awesome. Doing good so far. Now we know we can jump Guarantee you the one in the middle somehow flies up. I just have this gut feeling. Yes, 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 your boy is learning. I am learning, friends. I am learning and burning. Okay, so. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think, if you can tell right beside me, I'm pretty sure I thought I knew it, but we wanted the star. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant usage of the trolls. Here we go again, gang. This is harder to grab this fire flower than it looks. You have to jump. There we go. Pretty dang accurately. So this time, take damage here. So brilliant. I, it was, I should have known it's so obvious. This is what's gonna happen, but I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh, that was awesome! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! All right, so we needed to keep the star through that section. Noted. Writing that down in my, uh, in the old memory banks. I'm really liking, uh, I'm really liking some of the design ideas behind this course. It's really, really cool. So we know, 
We can do that. Perfect, perfect. Okay, why is there a smiley face? Why is there a smiley face to the door? Yes! Checkpoint City, baby! It's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. Now, what's going on? Why is there so many pipes? Why do I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing this room again? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so noted, we don't want the clown car. Through the door again, so we don't want the clown car here. Do I just want to trust it? Whoa! That... <laughs> that was so close! How? That was... That is brilliant designing. Watch how close we get to the spikes. Watch how close we get to death here, gang. That is ridiculous! How close you come to landing on the spikes. Only to not die. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I still like this part right there. That is so cool. So cool. All right, so now... Oh, no. I didn't mean to go back through the pipe. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. It killed me. Okay, through the pipe. Here we go again. Just chill out here. I mean, do I just want to wait a couple minutes so we don't die to that invisible... Is my timing that good or... Also that bad in the fact that I keep dying there. Maybe we're not supposed to go in that door. Let's try the let's try the coin path this time. You know, I should have trusted my gut. You know, I'm always the one that wants to dive into these deep pits. Hey, it worked out. Oh, okay, let's go. We avoided a troll for once. Wait, what? Oh, so, oh, wait a second. So we, oh, it's telling us we de need to go through the door. But how do, how do we get inside the door? There we go. What? What? What is, this is sorcery. We had a window of opportunity. No. No, we did not. What is this nonsense, dude? Look at this. Okay, um, hold up. Maybe maybe there's more down here. I did see a, a one of those get big mushroom kind of things. Oh. Oh wait, there's a boot there! Okay, 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 it's all making sense. <laughs> what? I, I swore that was a boot behind that. Um, it wasn't a boot. So this part's crazy. I have never seen this kind of troll before with these plethora. There is a cornucopia, if you will, of hidden Kaizo troll blocks there. Um, so I think this we're, we're on to something over here. By bouncing on this guy, we get a vine up here. And apparently we don't want that mushroom. So let's just go through the door. No. No, we do want it! <laughs> we do want it so we can break the bricks above us. But how do I... How do I get that giant mushroom without dying is maybe just walk off and don't jump that's it if you see if you jump on top of that breakable block it breaks and then you die but if you walk off for some reason it doesn't break the block and we can continue on our way okay take damage there looks like we have to take damage again to get through here What? <laughs> Wait a second. Hold up. I am in awe. Wait a second. How did that work? 
How... How were we able to go right through that on off? Wait a second. How is this a thing, guys? How is this a thing? You can somehow go through that. So what do I want to do? Run and... It's a fake door. <laughs> what a fake out. This is so good. Not supposed to go in the door and this is actually two snake blocks instead of one. Oh gosh okay okay all right we're all right we're all right okay um okay second checkpoint baby <laughs> i really really want that checkpoint dang it dude i think i just needed more speed and i could have made that Something fishy going on here. You smell that? Something very fishy is going on through this door. This just doesn't seem right. But we have no other option. <laughs> I was right! And I hate being right. Now this troll level goes by Federico on Discord. And uh, he, he said, he asked me to check out his levels, and uh, I have never played one of Federico's levels before. And my goodness, they are so good. I'm so excited to play more of them down the road. So let's uh, let's keep going. We did figure this part out. Take damage. We're gonna get the checkpoint this time. We're gonna get the checkpoint because I think I know what we need to do. So again, ride the snake block. You know, ride that baby around town. We just need to get more speed. Yes, second checkpoint. Let's go. Let's flip and go. Second checkpoint. Now we know when we go through the door, hold right and not die, which is good. Now there, you can tell there's something on the other side of this breakable wall here. And the arrows are telling us to go up the pipe, but it seems like that's our only choice at this point in time. <laughs> Son of a gun! Oh, I fell forward hook, line, and sinker. Thankfully, though, we did get the checkpoint, so it's not not too far of a setback, and uh, we can get back. No! No! How did no way? <laughs> oh, I'm lightheaded. I am lightheaded. How did he do that? Federico! Uncle Rico! How did you do that? I am I am legitimately trying to wrap my head around that forced checkpoint one. He got me holding right. That oh! So alright, let me let me just hold up. Hold up. Let me just play that replay in slow motion and talk my way through that while I think about it. So when you play through it the first time, he trains you to hold right when you go through the door because there's a gap you fall in if you die. Now, if you get the checkpoint though and go through the door, instead when you hold right, you go through a blue pipe that takes you back to checkpoint one. How did he pull off that old switcheroo and it takes you to a completely different room? Other than magic, I see no explanation. I am still in awe thinking about that checkpoint one, dude. I. So do I not want to get the checkpoint here? I don't, I don't know what, what my play is. Do I want to get the checkpoint? It almost seems too easy to get it. So we know. Go through this door and this should be hold right. Okay. Everything is normal so far. But if we would die here, everything is not normal. Hmm. Oh, sugar. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. This is the true test. We died at the second checkpoint. Now, what's going to happen when we go through this door? Don't hold right. How, dude? Oh, my gosh. Federico. 
I don't know how that was, how you were able to pull that off with the door taking you to someplace else. And I don't want to know. All I know is that was incredible. All right, so now that we know that, we can continue on our way and we shouldn't, in theory, fall for the checkpoint one again, but we'll see. Oh, uh, wait. Wait a second. Hmm. How do I want to do this part? Let's think this through. We definitely want to get the shelmet. Break that. I think we want to lose it up here, maybe? No, we're going to die. Oh, wait. What if we hide in here? Got it. Got it. You had to hide in this little safe zone, this little cave. Cave of wonders, if you will. So now we can continue forward. Now, is this arrow telling us to grab the fire flower <laughs> or not to grab the fire flower? That is the question. I'm going to grab it. I think we probably didn't want it. We'll know here in a second, I'm sure. So here's the key. Okay, so we just want to run straight through here, right? Yes. This seems right so far. <laughs> How? Wait! 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 So wait, how does that work? You take- you take the fire flower with you. No! No! <laughs> oh, my small brain. Bless my small brain. Please bless my small brain. I, uh, I, uh, so it just goes to show you, I can't be thinking about something else. If I think about something else and not about that checkpoint one, I'm gonna fall for it every time. Unbelievable. A few days ago, I told my wife I wanted to take a live IQ test against her because she, she boasts that she has a higher IQ than me. And I beg to differ, but after after watching myself and realizing the stuff I fall for over and over again, I don't think I want to take an IQ test against her. <laughs> take damage, fall on the bomb bomb, hide in this little area. I'm surprised we don't die there, but we don't. Definitely take the fire flower. Definitely take the key. Now there must be a platform or something under the third piranha plant that keeps the muncher in place. That's awesome! That is so awesome. Look at this. Look at this. That's so great. Brilliant. See, the first time I went through there, I thought we had to damage boost through them, but that's exactly what Federico wanted us to think. So now we have the fire flower. Okay, so it's a forced... We have to be small going through here. I get a bad feeling about hitting this question mark block, but I have an even worse feeling about going down the pipe. <laughs> that's, that's what I get. That's what I get. Oh, my troll intuition. It's just, it's so good. My troll intuition is so good about making me fall for more trolls. All right, so I gotta tell myself, do not hold right. Do not hold right. Do not hold right. I love that. One of my favorite trolls I've fallen for in a while. So we gotta take damage again here, and we wanna go down the pipe. Going down the pipe is the solution, at least to that section. Go in the red pipe. Wait a second. So there's five red pipes. Wait, what? So this just became a puzzle. And in the words of Professor Layton, every puzzle has a solution. So we need to find the red pipe. Hmm. <laughs> Let's fall down here. Wait. Wait, does this change the color of the pipes? 
This is the red pipe, right? That's the red pipe, right? No. No! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! Federico! That was incredible, dude! I thought... I thought when it changed the colors of the levels that I went down the wrong pipe. Wow. 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 I tried to improve my artistic skills a little bit with this one. That's supposed to be a red pipe to symbolize that awesome ending to this level. Hopefully you guys get the idea. That was incredible. And I loved it! Federico, that was such a great level with so many memorable parts. That part with the buzzy beetle where you almost die, and then he pops out of the note block and you can continue on your way. That checkpoint one was amazing. And then also the ending. Just all of them were great in their own right. I'm not sure how many different ways Carl died at this level, but I know I died many, many different ways that I wasn't expecting. Again, guys, check out this level on your own. The level code's gonna be right beside me. Again, it'll also be in the description below. And I'll also throw Federico's Maker ID down there as well. Before we end this video, let me just do a very quick shout out to the DGR Twitch community. If you guys have a Twitch account, or even if you don't, I would love if you got one because it's free to get, and that's where we're doing all of our live streams. I play troll levels, we do viewer levels, we do multiplayer versus runs, and people stream snipe me. It's just we have a blast over on the Twitch streams. And it would be an honor if I uh, got to see you guys in an upcoming live stream. But for now, let's wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will look forward to the next troll level that we play very soon. But until that time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, take care.